What's up everybody? Welcome to today's Explore. It's been a journey getting to this house right now. We're with Michael and Brian of the Prop People, Chris of Airbax and Chill, and Ashley. And we just had to hike about, I don't even know, maybe three miles through just rough terrain. And we just finally got inside of the massive barn of this huge mansion. I'm gonna be showing you what's inside of it first before we head into the actual house. Um, I know that the house was built in the 1950s. It was a family home, kids, father, mother. Other than that, I really don't have any information on it. We're gonna be going into the house, looking for things, obviously, letting us know who lived there, what kind of person lived there, and there's a ton of stuff left behind. And I've been wanting to hit this place for a long time. So uh, if you guys enjoy, leave a thumbs up, and let's go explore. So this barn is pretty extensive. We actually have a giant hot tub right there. And there's a whole lot of other things in this place, but I'm not gonna be tiptoeing too much. There's a lot of garbage on the ground and I can't make a lot of noise because there's a business right next door. We also have this vintage exercise, exercise equipment. This is a massage belt, pretty cool. Even has the little loops that will go around you to massage you. Pretty vintage stuff, 1950s or 60s even. Oh wow, look at this stuff. Kind of old video camera here. The Signature 2000. Pretty cool. Got some old ice skates and a Emerson record player. So far a lot of vintage stuff in here. It's pretty cool to see. Holy Got ourselves an old Corvette. It's got side exit exhaust right here. <laughs> yeah, both sides. And we're inside. It's like an old bar, chill room. Looks like a lot of photographers put various furniture in here to stage it up. Yeah, I'm sure the previous owners just left their accordion on their uh, That's really cool. Chair. You wanna see if it works? I mean, I have no idea how an accordion works, but. Let's find out. Let's see if it makes noise. It looks like it's broken. Oh, this is not even attached down here. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. That's really cool though. Let's see the front of that thing. Yeah, maybe if I just like fold it together. Oh, nice! <laughs> wow. Pretty cool. That's the first accordion I've seen in an abandoned place. Yeah, same. I noticed this is a, a goat head inside of a bird cage. Pretty odd. We are in the mountains, so I wouldn't be surprised if the person who owned this house was a hunter. Got this old grandfather clock. Ah, the woodwork's really nice in here. Pretty 
This is so sick. There's an air hockey table in here. This is personally my favorite game at any arcade. Really destroyed. It's a shame this thing is just sitting here. Got a fairly empty room, but there is a piano here. It's a Wurlitzer. I know these go for some money. So far, these people were also fans of music. Not complaining though. Wow, this was the kitchen. This is really nice. Has its own little island, little center bar. Look at the woodwork, this is insane. This is one of the nicer kitchens I've seen. Got a ton of prescription medication here. I'm not gonna get too close to those, don't wanna show any personal information, like names or such. But, so far so good with this house, I'm really liking it. Got pictures here too. I'm gonna have to blur these out, but there's actually pictures from inside the home. A lot of vintage pictures. We have some brain x-rays left in the kitchen. So I guess whoever was living here got really sick and they passed away. So there's this crazy stone staircase that goes into the basement, kind of resembles a dungeon. We're gonna check it out. It's cobwebs. Whoa, this is creepy. What is that? Just pretty boring down here. There's really not much down here. It's just kind of like creepy to look in. Like yeah. this is like a dungeon. Just storage, though. They could have made this downstairs look a lot cooler. You might have other parts. Yeah, true. This is a giant bathroom. Wow. It's weird that it has this window here. So many rooms. Something tragic must have happened in a place like this because a lot of places I go, they don't leave shampoo and soap just in the showers. So something must have happened in this home. Maybe a natural disaster, something with the family. I'm not quite sure. But this house is definitely, 
It's definitely strangely left behind. It is tossed and turned around, so it looks like maybe someone did come back and rob it or something. So far, so good. It's been a really long time since I've hit an abandoned mansion, and on the way here, we had so many hiccups on uh, getting inside. I was starting to lose hope because it's been a while since I've hit a mansion, and I'm... There's a whole bag of pill bottles. It looks like people were living in here that were drug addicts. This is insane. There's garbage everywhere. Look at this, look at this. These are all pill bottles. This is insane. This is why you don't do drugs. I can't believe somebody just lived in this mess. So now we know why it's all torn up. We have Dr. Seuss and his friends here. Oh, look at this, we have a whole box of VHS tapes. I don't watch a ton of movies, but maybe we could find something that I recognize. Know that movie? Getting away with murder. This is a pretty unique room too. This looks like it's staged from photographers as well, but it's not like this stuff wasn't in the home. Kind of gives us the opportunity to see what was left behind. Super shooter Polaroid camera. I think this is an old film projector, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Not really sure, I could be wrong. Kinda looks like a film would go there and spin around. So I'm guessing this was probably the master bedroom just by how it looks. Largest bedroom here. And we have a giant television. Outdated, of course, but... Still pretty cool. Really trashed place, but... Abandoned houses and mansions always pique my interest. So what do you think about this house so far? What do you think um, happened here? I don't know. It seems kind of weird because a lot of stuff left behind. It's homeless people stuff. And trash. Like, this room is all a bunch of like homeless people, drug addicts. But there's weird. there's a lot of stuff scattered around the home. Because I mean, it looks like someone came in and just cleared out the good stuff. But like, a lot of personal things are left behind. Right, I know. That's weird. Yeah. Like there's even like shampoo and soap in the shower. Personal pictures all Almost around the house. You were moving, you would take well, like it. the x rays and stuff, and then a bunch of pill bottles. So I'm guessing the owners were sick and then yeah. ended up dying. And, and then maybe the young daughter moved. Who knows? Yeah, the young daughter didn't want the house or sold it or auctioned She went too that. young. I don't know. She looks. The she pictures, she was young, yeah. yeah. Well, there were some older pictures of a girl with a family, so. I don't know. Abandoned houses are always a mystery. Yeah, we'll try it. We'll figure it out. Looks like this might have been like a library. We got a lot of books in here. Or actually, this is probably an office. We have an old computer right there. And binders and 
A lot of stuff. Looks like maybe a family business or something. Even have drawings that the kids probably did for their father or mother and they hung it up on the office. And you're just sitting here rotting to Debbie. To Deb, thank you for the princess gift. I love it. Love Kelsey. You're the best. I love you. Right outside the office is a decent amount of like law books. So it's possible that people living here could have been lawyers. Oh wow, look at this. Textbook of medicine. This is a thick book. What do we got? It's his name, and he's in Wales, so he's a lawyer attorney at law. So he was a, what do they call those type of lawyers? Elder, elder law? Elder law. Yeah. So he was a lawyer who lived here. Yeah. Got some more lawyer books here. New York civil practice. Municipal corporations. Yeah, definitely a lawyer living here. Check out these cobwebs. Now it's time to go up this spiral staircase and see where that little stair bridge takes us. This is a tight fit. It's just storage up here. The master bedroom had its own like balcony out here. Hopefully this roof doesn't cave in on me. But here we get a good look at the property. There's the giant three car garage slash barn. I guess it was a barn they converted it to a garage. And oh wow, look, they have a, this property had a pool too. It's an in-ground stone pool. It's like coated in stone. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for today's video. Ending it in the master bedroom. I'm just kind of looking around. It's it's really weird that there's just pictures of family here. There's cards left from holidays. There's notes left behind. There was this was a loving family. And we're inside this home which is destroyed. I mean, talk about the natural decay, or we could talk about what looks like to be drug addicts or someone living inside the home at one point. It just all doesn't make a lot of sense. And here we are, just trying to put the puzzle pieces together, but sometimes it doesn't come out to a full image. And that's kind of where we're left today with a lot of questions and not a lot of answers, but that's kind of what exploring abandoned mansions and abandoned houses are like. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video. We've explored everything. And um, it wasn't the most successful explore, but definitely a unique one. If you guys enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. You could subscribe for more exploring content. And of course, check out the description to view the Prop Fuels channel, as well as Chris and Ash's Instagram. So that's going to do it. Until next time, peace out.